Good very early Saturday morning, everyone. Uh, I'm recording this at about 5.30 on Friday, uh, August 9th, 2019, which happens to be our fifth year anniversary from starting up the ASM Free uh, platform. They, we started it up uh, five years ago uh, today and 15 years ago from the very first uh, time that ASM was put online down in Costa Rica. So very interesting uh, anniversary and event that has taken place in the last few days. Uh, we did receive for the very first time ever right here, holding it in my hand. Okay. This is a, a letter of intent from the National Roller Hockey League that has been sent already to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. It's a letter of intent asking them to allow us to raise funds for them on our platform because basically there is no other way for them to do it. Um, this may seem like not a big deal, but it's actually the biggest deal we've ever had. And let me explain why. The regulators don't care about our profitability and they don't care about making the big leagues richer. What they care about is capital formation, and orderly markets. And for us to get the regulators' attention, we need to show them that we have something that will do something useful. Remember, it's about usefulness. That's the key. So for everything that we've done prior with the even the first market back in Costa Rica, the free market, and then the pilot market, we haven't actually shown that we can do the very thing that the platform is designed to do. And that's why this letter is so extremely important. And that's why we need this and many others like it. That's the key to success for us and making everything happen. So um, that's, that's where we stand. Um, this is really an earthquake. And this is something that has been under Jason's charge. So he deserves probably almost all of the credit. I don't know who else has been working with him, but I know that it's been mainly his doing. So hats off, Jason. Uh, this is a very, very, very important uh, moment for us. So um, next steps are to get deeper into this conversation, wait for a, uh, we basically have requested a meeting with the SEC to discuss this, but understand that the reach out first has come from, from the league itself. So, um, big moment. Uh, we need to work this out, which we're doing, and make it happen. And this will be the key to showing the world uh, that our platform is real, uh, that it's useful, that it will help build the sports industry in a brand new way, basically capital formation um, in a brand new way, and giving access to capital to people that have never had it before. And that is how we get regulation. It's not by selling the major leagues. What they need to see is they need to see a success story in something smaller. So with our three markets running, we're gonna have the learning market with the educational platform, the pilot market, which will continue to trade and you continue to build your, your account value. I've explained how all that works multiple times. And then the big leagues, which they'll see their teams trading on the nonprofit side, and remember we can do that. That's legal for us because of the nonprofit. And it will show them trading activity on that market and the free market, and then it will have a live case of real fundraising. I don't expect this to be the last one. I expect this to be the first one of many more to come. In fact, we're going to use this to go out and get more and to put a, a call out to get more uh, deals like this and use this as a blueprint. So this is real. This is not fake. Um, this is 100% real. It is signed on the last page. Okay. So, and it's been mailed off. Um, that's where, you know, it's, it's no joke folks. So uh, please don't take this lightly. Uh, this is our opportunity to show the platform power uh, to everybody, regulators, media, the works. Um, we're going to explain in more detail over the coming days and weeks how we're going to use this to build momentum 
and get more of these because obviously we don't want just one. We want to use this one to create many more. But this is a very, very, very critical day for us. And please don't lump it into the category of everything else. We've never had this before, never even came close to this, uh, getting this in pen and paper. I wish I could read it out to you, but I've been asked specifically not to discuss anything further until we get, uh, get our first meeting with the SEC. Remember, again, main point is that this is requesting that the SEC allow the league, the National Roller Hockey League, to raise money on all sports market because it's the only way they're going to be able to do it, okay? And, and inside of the next uh, about uh, 11 months, give or take, which is a um, very reasonable timeline. So that's, uh, that's the big news. And um, incidentally, the... Uh, investor meeting that Alper and I uh, attended, which he attended in person, and he can give his own commentary on the Monday night conference call, the Monday, uh, August 12th, I think it is, August 12th conference call. He'll give you the um, his impressions of that, the third meeting. But it was left with one request, and that one request was, well, go get a deal, and uh, we have something to talk about. That's your job. The very next day, Literally, the very next day after the meeting, which today is Friday, that would have been Wednesday, um, two days ago, is when I got this from Jason. So excellent, fantastic news. Um, it is the best news we've had ever because we now have a real request from a league to raise necessary capital on our platform, and that is huge huge okay so thanks to everyone who stuck with us all this way um, it's been a long road I get that um, I've been on it the whole time uh, I've been on it before anybody else was on it so I know how long it is um, but this is what we're after is to prove prove the marketplace is real and it's capable so that's what this is about and that's to trigger for all other pieces i've heard it from people i've talked to about fundraising um you know the round and it really comes down to that you haven't proved the platform i've mentioned this several times on the calls over the last weeks that that's the holdup that's the holdup okay so you got all this cool tech you've got ip packages you've got these relationships all great however the current market doesn't actually do what it's intended to do. It, it hasn't shown the world yet that it can raise capital, which is the whole point. <laughs> so that's all about the change. So this is job one. This, this and getting deals like this now becomes the rallying cry, which will pull in all of the other necessary resources. Because as I said on a, the last call or the call before last, um, once you can show uh, profitability so when we do this raise we get paid okay because we collect our fees we show profitability even if it's on a small scale doesn't matter it becomes a scale issue so now you have the example you have the math and then the scale can be shown and that's the key that's the key to getting uh, investors uh, hot for what we're doing here and want to jump on board and we have a very um, comprehensive plan for doing that I've been working on it extensively um, with Alper, with Zach, with Bernie, uh, with the Hero Club team. And we'll be talking about that over the coming days and in, in, in how to amplify this and, and make sure that we get the most out of this, um, you know, earthquake of an event and, and use it to get all the way to our goals that we've been working so long and so hard for. So thanks to everyone who stuck this out and who's still here. Um, and those of you who are still wandering around the edges, I'll repeat to you again, you're welcome back. Uh, just please behave, you know, act civilly and, and uh, you know, let the past be the past. If you want to come back and participate, I would say now's the time to do it because it's about to get real exciting. So have a wonderful uh, weekend and thank you for your time. Bye now.